us who moved to Georgia yeah. from up north, yeah. we wanted to we moved to get away from yeah, that. As fast as you could. Yeah, yeah and you see that. <laughs> oh, and it's just terrible to look at. You know the feeling. It's cold here. Thankfully, none of that. Although a couple flurries in the highest elevations of northeast Georgia tomorrow. We'll talk about that. But first, let's talk about today because temperatures significantly colder. That cold blast they're feeling in Chicago, although not quite as extreme. We're feeling it here in North Georgia as well. Look at the change. About 50 to 16 to 17 degrees colder right now compared to this time yesterday, which is why today is a first alert weather day. It's that cold blast of air, the big change we wanted to make sure you were ready and prepared for it. Hopefully you were, and therefore you did bundle up as you went out the door. Although it was much colder this morning, still pretty chilly. We are mostly in the 50s, around 51 in Canton, 54 in Gainesville, 55 in Covington. It's 57 right now in Atlanta. At the airport, clear skies, it is beautiful. And and although things calm for the most part, any trees you see outside, they are blowing in the wind. Those winds will stay with us as we head through the afternoon. Here's a look at sustained winds by 3 o'clock, 20 mile an hour sustained winds. Temperature still in the 50s. As we head through the evening, notice sustained winds of 10 to 20 miles an hour, but we will see gusts higher than that. So not only are we dealing with cold, but we're dealing with the winds and the cold, and that will continue through tonight as temperatures drop to the 30s as we head into the overnight down to about 38 in Atlanta. That means it will be even colder tonight than it was last night. Last night we dropped down to the low 40s in Atlanta, so we will be colder as you head out the door, although not technically a first alert weather day tomorrow. You will need to bundle up as you head out the door. Let me take you hour by hour as we head into tonight. We're going to see crystal clear skies over our area, but we're going to see the possibility of what we call wraparound moisture in the highest elevations of far northeast Georgia, and it will be cold enough in those highest peaks that you could notice a flurry or two floating in the sky early tomorrow. We're talking about the highest mountains far northeast Georgia. No accumulations, no impacts, but you may see it. And if you do, don't let it alarm you. Wind gusts overnight through tomorrow. Stay up there 20 to 30 mile an hour wind gusts as temperatures stay chilly. Tomorrow even colder than today. Still breezy with highs only reaching the low 50s and those overnight temperatures continue in the 30s through Saturday morning. By next week, we will eventually warm back up. So for your weekend, a chilly day Saturday, Starting off cold Saturday morning, the mild air returns on Sunday. We'll be in the mid 60s and then we'll continue to warm up to 70 by Monday. We are watching for the possibility of a few rain chances by early to the middle of next week. Thank you, Jan. We could